Before I get into the video, I just gotta say, make sure you guys go ahead and check out the 7 Deadly Sins channel if you guys like 7 Deadly Sins. I already uploaded some fire content over there for you guys, so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the video. So today I'll be doing a video discussing Natsu meets his brother. Now, unless you guys have been living underneath the rock, then you guys would know that Natsu has literally just met his brother. Yes, his new brother. I'm not talking about Zareth Drag Neil. No, we know that Natsu and Zareth are brothers, but it has just been revealed to us that Natsu has a new brother named Ignea. Yes, he is the son of Igneo, and we also do know that he is the fire dragon god. So so, Natsu is related to one badass character. Yes, Natsu has one badass brother. And to be honest, this revelation of Natsu's new brother is definitely going to be one of the biggest things for the series of fairy tale. And today, I'm going to be discussing why Natsu's encounter with his brother is probably going to be the best thing to ever happen to him since he met Lucy. Now, for starters, we do know that Natsu meeting Ignia for the first time did occur when he was about to be killed by the water dragon god yes the water dragon god was about to kill natsu and then that's when the hand appeared and let's just give a round of applause to everybody in the community because everybody was suspecting that it had something to do with igneal and it did have something to do with igneal because it turned out to be his son now he is saying that he's his son but it hasn't been confirmed if this is igneal's biological son yet but i don't think that igneal would go around and lie and say that he's igneal's son if he's not his biological son and we also do know that he does look a lot like igneal in his dragon form and Natsu says that he has the scent of Igneal in his dragon form. So if you're one of those people who think, yo, Igneal might not be related to Igneal, he might not be like his real son, he might just be a proclaimed son of Igneal, then you might have to put that theory to rest because it looks like that Igneal is fully Igneal's son. And this is one question I've been seeing a lot of people ask about Ignea and Natsu meeting. Some people have been asking, does Natsu know about Ignea? And this actually isn't too far-fetched because we know that Ignea, he knows of Natsu. And I'm not saying that him and Natsu obviously were best friends. I'm not saying they went to the park with their little kids together. No, 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 none of that. But what if Igneo actually did mention Ignea to Natsu before? What if he actually did bring him around him before without not to even know him because it is kind of spooky that Natsu does know of him but Natsu or that Ignea knows of Natsu obviously because Ignea he said that he knew Natsu's name and everything so we know that Ignea he knows of Natsu but I wonder if Natsu knows anything about Ignea has he met him before did Ignea ever bring him up before in the past that's my whole question about Ignea and Natsu during their first meeting does Natsu has have any type of memories of of Ignea. But the best thing that Ignea said was that he is here to train Natsu. Yes, he is here to train Natsu. And in fact, he actually gave Natsu some of his power. Yes, he gave Natsu some of his power. And I like that scene a lot because it was very reminiscent to the flame of rebuke when Jalal gave Natsu a flame in order to defeat Zero back in the Erasian Saiyan's arc. Like, I really did enjoy that scene a lot. And I definitely do think that this will be Natsu's big breaking point for his power because right now he's basically getting flames from a fire dragon god yes a fire dragon god and we know whenever natsu eats flames he basically gets stronger so natsu he is about to become very overpowered but i really hope that natsu does take the power because we see that he was even questioning taking the power he was like yo what's wrong with you why would i take your flames who do you think you are so i definitely do hope that natsu doesn't turn down the power up because that would kind of be lame but i do think that natsu will end up taking the power just because he knows that he's Igneo's relative and I definitely do think that Natsu will be able to trust him and we know that Ignea also wants Natsu to get stronger because he wants him to defeat Mercuphobia yes he wants him to defeat Mercuphobia and this is probably one of the most craziest things because we see what Mercuphobia is doing at half power yes a lot of people were, were wondering if Mercuphobia was at full power or not but no he is not at full power he's at half power and he's doing the things that he's doing 
doing? He's over here flipping seas upside down. He's destroying cities, you know. He's destroying the main cast of Fairy Tale while he's at half power. And Ignea wants Natsu to be able to defeat him. So we know that he's definitely going to put Natsu through some hellish training because we see where Natsu is right now compared to Murky Phobia. Like, it's not even close. Murky Phobia is just, he washed him. He literally washed Natsu. Like, put him in a washing machine, put him on high, and just got to wash it. Like, it was literally that simple for Murky Phobia. But no, in all seriousness, the fact that he wants Natsu to defeat Murky Phobia is just big, big, big praise going towards him. And we also find out that he wants to be Natsu's final opponent. Yes, we find out that Ignea wants to be Natsu's final opponent. And this just basically sets up for one of the greatest fights to come in Fairy Tale. Now, obviously, we know that Natsu is nowhere near Ignea in terms of power. But the fact that he does want to fight him simply because he's Ignea's son is going to be very huge because this is giving me some dragon ball super vibes yes dragon ball super goku and beerus you know gods and all that stuff but no in all seriousness we know that basically ignea is looking for a challenge yes ignea is looking for a challenge and he knows that natsu has the potential being that he's ignea's son and basically there's kind of like a little grudge being held between these two yes i don't know how serious it's going to be taken but ignea he it looks like that he's gonna uh keep on playing on the whole fact that natsu called himself ignea's son because natsu used to always say that he's the son of a dragon but now that this is ignea's real son seemingly here it seems like that he's gonna keep on saying yo you can't be the son of ignea because we saw even when he was getting beat down by murky phobia ignea was getting mad he was like yo how dare you call Call yourself the son of a Neil. So I definitely do think that that will be a little grudge between those two. The fact that they both are going to, they're both fighting to be the number one child. Let's be honest. That's the main thing they're going to be fighting over. They're fighting over to be daddy's boy. Yes, that, and pause, pause though. But no, they are fighting over to be the number one son. But the cool thing is, is that we know that Ignea, he most likely will train Natsu. Yes, Natsu will have a new training arc simply because Ignea, the gap in power is too huge, and Natsu and Ignea, they both know that. And Ignea, he says he wants Natsu to reach his full potential. So, what better way for Natsu to reach his full potential than to get trained by the fire dragon god? I mean, hell, he was already willing to give him some of his power, even though it was temporary. So, why wouldn't he be able to train him? And another reason why I think he should train him is because this will help with the fifth generation Dragon Slayers. Yes, this will help hugely with the fifth generation Dragon Slayers because we know that the fifth generation Dragon Slayers, they want to steal all of the dragon god's powers yes they want to steal all of the dragon god's powers and now that we know that natsu's brother is a dragon god this means that natsu he has even more incentives incentive to fight the fifth generation dragon slayers the dragon eaters yes they go around and eat dragon souls to get powerful so i definitely do think that now that we know that there's a full guild of them natsu him getting this power up will help dearly just because the fifth generation dragon slayers it appears that they might be stronger than all the other type of dragon slayers that we've seen so far yes it looks like that the fifth generation dragon slayers are looking that strong and i mean i don't really know if they're going to be stronger than the gods because they seem pretty confident when it comes to wanting to go track them down yes they were basically saying they were out there looking for murky phobia like they wanted all the smoke when they came to them so i definitely do think that these guys they are strong Strong and knowing that there's a full guild of them and we didn't even get to see the guild master of them we only saw like little lackeys of them and they're pretty strong they're on par with natsu gray urza so the fact that the fifth generation drag slayers are going after the dragon gods and now that we know that natsu pretty much has a dragon god brother this would be a good time for him to get trained and last but not least, I definitely do think that Ignea, the number one thing that he can do for us is he can provide more information on the dragons in Igneal. And yes, 
yes yes this will be the greatest thing in fairy tale history because let's be honest one of the biggest things that we need to see is the history of the dragons yes we need to see the lore of the dragons we need to see the time when it was nothing but just dragons running around because these guys are basically claimed to be like on par with gods like they're basically like you know they say dragons don't worship gods or look up to kings or nothing like that so we definitely need to go back and see the time when igneal ruled over the dragons and what better perspective would it be to see it from than from igneal yes igneal's son we know that this guy basically looked up to igneal and all that other stuff and i also want to say i want to see igneal and igneal's past because yo just imagine all the crazy things that those two went through together and why was he present for Natsu's backstory? But overall, that's what you see it for this little video discussing Natsu meeting his brother. Natsu meeting his new brother Ignea for the first time was definitely crazy. It, to me personally, it was chapter of the year. And we're only, what, like a couple weeks into 2019. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of good things that come from Fairy Tale. And the fact that he was introduced in this fashion, I definitely do think that it will help the series of Fairy Tale to grow to new heights. So yeah, leave a like if you guys do love ignea comment what you guys think down below subscribe if you haven't make sure you guys turn on notifications peace out